Welcome back to Watertown Draft Trailers. Today we're going to talk about the fuse panel on the front here and our digital control. Uh, I'm going to walk you through it real quick. So here we're walking up to our 12 foot trailer. I'm going to give you a demonstration about what's going on with the fuse box and the extension cord. As you can see, right here is our box to put the extension cord in. We prefer on the 12 foot, it's a 20 amp circuit for the compressor that you run a minimum of a 10 gauge extension cord. Um, our other trailers are a half horse compressor and require 15 amps, so those can be run on a 12 gauge extension cord. Yes, you can run them on, you can run this one on a, a 12 gauge extension cord also, but you take the risk of burning up the wiring. So I always recommend being a little bit on the heavier duty side. So looking at the fuse box, you can see there's a breaker for the light, a breaker for the compressor. So we flip on that, that's going to be the LED light on the inside of the trailer. This one will be the compressor. If you notice, you didn't hear anything really kick on, there's a delay for the compressor from the control. So down here is the compressor underneath the shroud. Here we are walking up to the back side of the trailer on the right to look at our digital control. And as we open this up, you can see the temperature is flashing at 56 degrees. It's also flashing ASD1. ASD1 stands for the anti-short cycle, so it's got a delay of one minute. As you can see, the little greenish-yellow light came on at the bottom there. It means the compressor just turned on, so we know it's running. In normal operation, the controller will always show you the temperature of the trailer is in on the inside. Going to the thermostat here, you can adjust the temperature. This is your off temperature. So you push menu, that's the temperature it's set at. You can push the up or down key to adjust the temperature that you need. You hit menu again, this is the temperature it's going to turn on at. If you push menu one more time, that's the temperature it's set at. Once again, you can push the up or down key to adjust the temperature you need. This is also includes a defrost cycle, which will defrost every eight hours for 30 minutes. That is a default setting on there, but you can go through the menu and adjust that if you want it longer or shorter or more. Um, if you see it flashing right now, if you just leave it, it'll just go back to standard menu and it'll stop flashing. 